integrate ax over the quantity x squared minus bx solution. So when you first see this problem, lots of things probably come to mind. Maybe making a u substitution comes to mind. If you try that, if you let u equal x squared minus bx, then your du, well, that's just going to be 2x minus b dx. And that just looks kind of hard because there's no b up here, um, so there's no 2. It just seems like it would be difficult to make this work. Another idea maybe is partial fractions, but check this out. For partial fractions, you always try to factor the bottom, right? But if you pull out an x on the bottom, something really nice happens. You get x times x minus b. The x's just go away, so there's actually no need for partial fractions in this problem. You just get a over x minus b dx. So to do this integral, all we have to do is make a u substitution. So we'll let u be equal to x minus b and then du is simply going to be equal to dx. So this becomes the integral of a over u du. If you like, you can pull the a out, and then this integral becomes more recognizable, because now it's 1 over u du. And this integral is one that people have memorized. It's equal to the natural log of the absolute value of u. So this is a times the natural log of the absolute value of u plus a constant c. But in this case, u is x minus b. So this is a natural log absolute value x minus b. And then we still have our plus c. And that's it. So kind of an interesting looking integral. Um, when I first saw it, I had all kinds of ideas. But then I realized, hey, you can just pull out an x and it works. I hope this video has been helpful.